How, is it in your frame? Uh, no. Okay. Michael, uh, spell your name for me. Warcel, W-O-R-C-E-L. And do you prefer Michael or Mike? Michael. Okay. And your title? I'm assistant professor of dance. Okay. Uh, you're directing Sweet Charity. Right. Yeah. Um, tell me, for, for the undergraduate, what's the uh, theater experience like here at Ball State? What are you attempting to do to, uh, for students? Well, we have about four options here for, for students in theater. We have a, um, a general theater, uh, we have a musical theater option, a technical option, and then a performance option. So um, they can just go in just about any direction that they want to. And, the, and they have a lot of opportunity right from the, the first year into the program to get experience? Right. We, include, uh, we encourage freshmen to get involved right away. Uh, if they're not cast in a show, we have auditions uh, the first week that they come in. If they're not cast in a show, we encourage them to get involved otherwise, uh, either in tech or uh, assisting with some portion of the show, stage managing and so on. There are some universities and some uh, theater uh, uh, programs around the country that, that really the students don't get a hands-on approach to that area for the first year or two or longer. Ball State is right you, what, right into the fire? Right, exactly. <laughs> why so? What, what, what's the success of that? Why do, you, why do you push it in that direction? Well, this is a, a hard area to, to get a job in once they get out of school, so they need every aspect and, and as much experience as they possibly can. And so that's why we encourage them to get involved right away. And you, you make it so easy for them. When you, when you talk to freshmen uh, and encouraging them to come to the Ball State program, what do, you, what do you tell them? Well, we like to think that we have some of the best faculty in theater. Um, we also have a really, our dance program is, is within the theater department, um, which that, that helps a lot because um, we have close connections with the two and it allows theater students to be involved with the dance and vice versa. The, the dance majors also are involved with a lot of the theater productions. So it kind of crosses over that way. You guys got a good stapler, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, how many students in the program? We have about 130 theater majors and this year we have about 40 dance majors. Is that the maximum level that you're at right now? Are you at overflow or are you... Uh, dance is probably a maximum. Um, theater we could probably handle a few few more, but it, it varies a little bit, but it stays right around that number. You're producing a show uh, that's going to open in a couple of weeks called Sweet Charity. Right. Uh, how many students involved uh, technically on the stage? Well, there's 24 students in the cast, and technically I'd say at least another 20 to 25 students involved outside. So a really good number. And this is unit, This is standard for all Ball State pro programs, not only in main stage, but uh, in the Strata Theater also. Right. Um, this is a, an exceptionally large cast, this particular show. Not all the shows have as large of a cast, but still, um, when you see all the aspects that goes along with it, there are probably that many students involved with each show. Get the particulars out of the way. <coughs> How is that for a height one? Does that look okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about it. Wait a minute. Let me, let me get. Are you all right? Guys. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. That, is that better? Mm -hmm. um, Tell me your name and spell it for me. Renee Barrett, R-E-N-E-E-B-A-R-R-E-T-T. -E 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 and you, what year are you in school? I'm a senior. I'll be graduating in December. From Columbia City? Yes. So what is, what's the future hold for you? Well, I'm planning to move out to L.A. sometime soon. And this means you're going to, you're going to take a stab at this profession? Yes, yeah. in film particularly. Any, any contacts or are you just going to say, here I am, L.A.? And um, here I am, LA. I have a few friends that moved out recently, so, so we'll see how it happens. Yeah. Are they working? They just moved there, they so just got there. yeah. They they want to work. They want to. <laughs> yes. Know. Right. In front of the camera. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. uh, what makes you better than somebody else? 
Oh gosh, well I've always been an actress, so <laughs> my mom told me at least, I don't know. Um, I, what do you th I, why do you think you're going to be successful out there? What's your specialty or what, what, what's that special gift that you have? I feel a connection. I, I really connect to, to film work especially. There's, there's something magical about that and I've always been fascinated by things like that. So um, I've just always really been interested in that. I, I feel like I can do it. <laughs> what brought you to Ball State? Well, I didn't originally start off in the, uh, the theater department. I went out as a, as a teacher. I was going to be a choral director and I got involved with the theater department and kind of nudged my way in and stayed. Mm -hmm. Why the switch? Well, like I said, I, I, I've just fallen in love with theater, the whole magical part of it. It, it fascinates me. What I really like is to see uh, the reactions of the people in the audience. That was good. <laughs> We're still rolling. That was good. That just obliterated that. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> From choral director to aspiring actors. Yes. Yeah. I mean, in choral performance, you are acting to a degree. Now you said decided that you didn't want to take the safe route, you wanted to really go for it. I wanted to do it, yeah. It's, it's too much fun. I couldn't just watch it. I want to do it. So that's why I, I made the switch. What has Ball State provided you here that uh, you feel is really going to be beneficial to you in your career? Well, I think the faculty members are outstanding, number one. Um, I, I can really relate with them, and they always make time for me if I need help. Um, they've provided a, many opportunities for me also. I've learned a lot through them. You also have had a chance here at Ball State to, to start from your freshman year all the way through and you've had a chance to experience theater performance from all aspects, not mm -hmm. only on stage but behind the scenes as well. Mm -hmm. has, that, has that been a big help to you? Yes, yes. It's, it's nice to know what goes on behind stage too because people don't realize what it takes to put on a show. There's, there's so many things that happen behind the stage that the audience doesn't see. Uh, a show could not go on without lights, without a designer, without a stage manager, and, and people don't realize the importance of it. And I didn't either until I became more involved with the theater department. Of course, you thought the actors were everything. That's right, no. <laughs> the actors are a <laughs> It's the actor. <laughs> There are no small parts. Only oh, not at all. Actors. Not at all. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you were to recommend the Ball State Theater program to somebody else, what would you tell them? Why would you say you want to go there? Well, like I said, the faculty members are outstanding. Um, there's a lot of different avenues that you can take while you're here. You can study, um, like behind the scenes design, lighting being an actor, being you can experience directing. There's a lot of student productions every year, so you can take that upon yourself if you want to do directing and not perform so much. You can try that avenue here. There's just so many different av avenues at Ball State to try. Pasty and white is nice. Give them your name and spell it for me. Um, Rodney Coe, R-O-D-N-E-Y. C O E. And where are you from? Greenfield, Indiana. Okay. And you're, what year are you? I'm a senior. Okay. What What's the future hold for you? Where are you gonna go after this year? Oh wow. Um, my my plans as soon as I get out of school is to move to Toronto, Canada, and um, try try some film work and um, directing film is what I. Why Toronto? Um, Toronto, to me, is just is just a beautiful place, and there's a lot of. Um, a, y a lot of young artists, film work, start out of Toronto. There's a lot of Big possibilities question, there. Will they still be a part of Canada, or will they? Will Toronto be split like the in, like the entire country may be split after Quebec secedes? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have a little civil. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Who knows where you'll be? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. When they split it, they actually divide the country and it floats. Yeah. Out into the, yeah, of the, that's, of the yeah. ocean. Yeah. <laughs> Unique. Big jackhammer. It is, yes, yeah. all the way through. Um, <laughs> what's so special about the Ball State program for you? Oh, wow. Um, 
the just just the environment as a whole everyone is um very supportive of your work um the faculty is amazing i can't i can't think of where you could learn more um the, the faculty here is so willing to just go out of their way to help you in any way they possibly can it's amazing um they'll do anything for you um you've had a chance for a great diversification in your in your education too yes you've got to learn from in front of the lights and behind the lights yes and almost really literally forced yeah. to do that so yeah as, as a student um when you first come in you you're forced to take stage crafting and um, um costume design makeup design um, some basic lighting design classes and a lot of kids come in and they don't they think you know i don't want to do this and then they get into it and they realize what's behind it and it's a completely different realm and it brings out a, another creative force in them that they didn't think they had part of the college experience is academics there's no doubt but there's another side to it and we call that culture uh, mm -hmm. do you find that ball state has offered you a good balance yes um i we have we have a lot of opportunities here the the TCOM department and the theater department work very closely together. The the art students are very supportive of theater, and the the music and and theater work work well together. The dance department, and the theater department are are one, um, and we, we have the multicultural center here in Muncie, um, which a lot of students um, use. We we have a lot of really neat exhibits that come. I've been there a few times. It's so if you were telling us uh, another student, a, a uh, high school senior, and they were looking at theater programs, and uh, and you were telling them about Ball State, what would you tell them? I would say that if you came here for a day and just took a tour, you could get an idea of of what it's really about. Um, paper only takes you so far, but once you see the people behind it and what they have to offer, it would sell itself. Great organ at two. Yeah. You Bugs sure you me. want to spend those dollars? I don't. But, <laughs> nice but time wise, are we looking at visit with Phil about it? Okay. Is this really his project? Okay, go ahead. As she looks, we'll roll. Um, Margaret, spell your name for me so we have it on record. M A R G A R E T M E R R I O N. Dean College of Fine Arts. Right. Okay. Um, describe the college to me. What is it? What is involved in the College of Fine Arts? Well, the college is a blend of both the traditional and time-honored arts, as well as uh, the arts pushing the edge, so to speak, as far as uh, the disciplines using technology and preparing our students for the 21st century. In the college, we have the School of Music, the Department of Art, and the Department of Theater and Dance Performance, and our Museum of Art. And we prepare students traditionally to take careers as artists or arts educators within those disciplines. But we're also working with our students to um, prepare them for using technology in those art forms uh, in the appropriate uh, applications, such as set design, uh, dance choreography, uh, music education, what a teacher would use in the classroom, and so forth. And, and as far as the undergraduate experience at Ball State, mm -hmm. um, we all think academics, hit the books, study, right. study, study. Right. Where does the culture in the College of Fine Arts play a role in, in, in solidifying that total education? Oh. Well, that's really our, our co-mission. Our f mission is, uh, it consists of both educating the students in direct and formal ways, but we also have a responsibility for the cultural education of our, our university community and this whole section of Indiana. So to that extent, we are engaging in extensive programming of uh, more than uh, 25 exhibitions per year. Our, uh, student, our students and faculty in theater and dance present on campus main stage performances and going out to the schools and uh, performing for them there. In the School of Music, there are more than 350 concerts and recitals that are done on campus. And again, they take things off campus into um, the region and participate in the education of our citizenry through performance. 
So the, the college really has an impact not only internally, but then externally as well, to the external community, right. uh, surrounding community, and also to the student, the mass student body, yes. by them being able to, to invest some time in, in watching and enjoying right. it. Right, and I kind of think that one of the marks of a mature and, and vibrant university is kind of uh, one that has the AAA theory going, the academics, the arts, and athletics. Those campuses engage in balance with those in, in the priority scheme. And I think Ball State is one of those institutions. Well, I should give Up, up, 
Yep, we're rolling, we're rolling. Uh, give me your name and spell it. My name is Sarah Mangelsdorf. It's M-A-N-G-E-L-S-D-O-R-F. And your title? A coordinator of dance for the Department of Theater and Dance Performance. What do you do here? What do the students do? What are you teaching them? Well, we hope we're teaching them how to dance, and they do all different forms of dance, whether it's ballet, modern, jazz, tap, ethnic, and get a chance to perform in public for a variety of audiences, not only on campus, but for children in the community, as well as other adults, uh, travel a little bit, perform for other college students, participating in the American College Dance Festival. What are your students going to do with their training? Uh, professionally, teaching? A little bit of everything. Some of the students are performing professionally. Others want to go into teaching. Many are discovering graduate school, areas like dance therapy, uh, computers and dance, maybe to write, maybe to be historians, and then later to teach. So it, it's wide open. There are a variety of careers possible for them. It really depends on their talents. What's the field professionally? for a dancer out there. Is it uh, wide open or is it a pretty close job? Mm, it's pretty difficult and pretty hard as far as professional dance companies. Ballet companies usually take students or uh, performers when they're much younger. Many times you can get into modern companies and some other regional ballet companies to perform. There are a number of jazz companies and tap companies which are now in existence which were not 20 years ago. So it depends on the student and their talent and the luck probably of being in the right place at the right time and making connections and being prepared. Um, your students, uh, mm -hmm. there's only 43 in the dance program, right? Right. The, is that a rather select, is your program a rather select program? Not uh, in the way that we do not have an audition process to get into the program, but we do audition them for placement and have them go through a jury each year so that we can counsel them and give them guidance to continue or not to continue. That's just on their skill level and how they're doing with their written work as well. But there are programs that are much larger. Um, our program is just still growing. We are young, we're, only, we're less than 10 years old, so we still have a lot of way to see our path and how we fit into the dance scheme, but it's working. Our students are enjoying it, they're increasing their skill level, and they are getting jobs when they graduate. So we think we've done a fine job with them. Where do you want it to go Where in another 10 years? Well, hopefully we will continue with the performance element, and our students then will see, have more possibilities of getting into companies which they wish to be a part of. Um, I see it growing as far as expanding into more history, understanding dance better as an art form, and that we'll have more faculty as well as more students. We'd like the program to be a little bit larger than the, than the 43, 41. What's so special about the Ball State program? I think that it is unique in the aspect that we stress all forms of dance. Uh, we treat modern and ballet equally, and the students must perform ballet, modern, jazz, tap, and ethnic and musical theater styles. We don't focus only on one, but we're trying to train a dancer who is adaptable and versatile in all forms. And it seems to be really working well.